In this video, we're going to look at how to import and export jobs using the Jenkins CLI. So within Jenkins, there's actually a CLI jar file that you can use, um, give it some authentication details, and then you can uh, install plugins, you can uh, do a variety of stuff. In order to get this, um, the location for it um, is here. So it's uh, I'm actually on the Jenkins host, so I've just gone to localhost, but it's uh, essentially in this path just here. So if you were to curl this, or wget this is probably easier. Um, I haven't got wget installed. What we'll now see is we have the Jenkins CLI file here. Now in order to use it, we can just do this and then we can do Jenkins CLI.jar and you'll see there that we get some uh, things that are asked of us. Um, so what we'll notice here is I've already got a Jenkins auth file um, and I've just used an admin and password123 on this uh, demo version. Um, so what we can now do is pass some parameters to this right here. So we've got Java, it's a jar file. This is the jar file we want to run. And here are some arguments. We've got the source. So the source, I'm doing it straight on the Jenkins box. So it's localhost, port 8080. Auth is the auth file that I'm using, which is the Jenkins auth that I've just shown you. And then we can do a variety of things. So if I quickly navigate over to my Jenkins instance, which is on this IP address, and go to 8080, I'll be asked to log in, password 123, and we'll see here we've got some tests. So having a look at test one, let's try and export test one. So all the test one actually does um, is, I've called it test project, I've turned on log rotation, um, let's put in a source code repository, um, This won't actually work. I just want to show you that actually uh, when we restore this job, this repository URL will still be in here. Obviously in a real world situation, you would have your repository name in there fully authenticated. Uh, let's change this to main as some people use a main branch instead of master. Um, and let's add a shell step afterwards that's just going to do a hello world. I'm going to save that and that is test one. So what I want to do is I'm going to export test one out and I'm going to import it as uh, test 99. So let's go ahead here and do that. So one of the things that we need to do um, is something called get job. So we can just run get hyphen job and then the name of the job. So we've already got test one in there. And then if we were just to run that, that would just print it out to screen. And we can just send that to uh, test one uh, and the output format that we get is XML. So test1.xml and there it is. So we now have test1.xml which is XML that's uh, the description was test project. Um, we should see in here the, the git um, config that I did here. Look hello world.git. So all of the information on that we're using the main branch and that we've got a hello world in there. So that all of that information is in this XML. And now all that we need to do is run a create job. So if we just go back up here, remove this, and instead of get job, we now want create job. Let's give it a name. So we always give um, it a name here. The, the name actually isn't in the XML. So we're gonna call this test99. And then we're going to actually send it in as test1.xml. So if we now go and run that, and that's already completed, and then we go over to our Jenkins instance and have a look here, and we'll see there's test99. It's called test project. It's got that Git repository, its main branch, 
and we've got the hello world.